Hello and welcome to Growing Figs. Today I'll be talking about my fig and my dragon fruit. Um, I wanted to get a video up because of the, I was going to wait a little longer, but who knows what could happen in a couple weeks when you could get snow. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about my dragon fruit first and then we'll get into the fig. It has a couple figs on it, so I thought I'd do a video of it. Now, um, if you get a little bit closer here, there's three plants here. They're all cuttings. Uh, the one back here is actually a cutting of this one. It, right off the top here. I cut this last summer. And uh, everything grew really nicely. Um, I guess it wasn't the greatest conditions for it this year. But since they're in their second year, I will be keeping one. And so, uh, somebody, a couple people will be getting a couple of nice dragon fruits. Now, with the, the fig, I won't be keeping this either because, well, the top is measures about four feet across right now. I don't have room for it, so hopefully I'll find somebody to take care of it, and I, maybe next summer I can help them with it a little bit. Now, if we get a little bit closer here, you can see that the figs are on here. Uh, there's about five. Um, I'm kind of glad that I didn't let it um, do so many figs because, um, it's not really it doesn't have the time to ripen but if we get a little closer here um if you remember some of my earlier videos uh, all these stalks are actually underneath the soil i buried it right after the figs uh, appeared so i know that um the more uh, the more growth that you give it uh, the more root growth that you give it the, the longer it's going to take for the figs to form so um, I waited till a few figs formed, then I, I buried the branches in the soil. So I'm hoping that there's going to be roots coming out from the branches. And then um, I'll probably be exposing this in a month, trying to transplant it up a bit more. And um, uh, hopefully I will be monitoring it, monitoring it through the winter at a friend's or something to help them out. Because by next summer, this should be really, really nice. I'll get back up here a little bit so you can have a good look at it. Um, I'm, ho uh, like, I'm hoping for uh, a dragon fruit next summer. Uh, who knows, it could do it through the winter because like I said, through the winter, all my plants get 24 hours light mostly. Um, this, this, this one's only nine months old. Uh, the, the cutting I started in December and uh, it was only like the size of my hand and but it got 24 hours light till may and then i brought it outside and then it was able to adjust to the sun so thanks for joining me today and hopefully i'll get another video up soon uh, about my my root over shell so we'll talk soon